Hello everybody and welcome finally to the Magnificent Ride Collection DLC and I'm so 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 super excited to show you a little bit of a glimpse of it already. So um, I just rushed home uh, once this uh, was released and I'm just really quickly recording this one. Uh, I didn't do much, I just quickly put down all the stuff here um, to make sure that I can show you this in action. Um, and then due to my new very fast internet connection, uh, which I have actually already um, for a week now as a thank you for the loyalty and uh, because it's already for my new flat, I hope this will be very, very quickly out there for you guys. I'm not quite sure if I'm able to beat Mr. John T. I'm pretty sure I'm not. But anyways, let's have a glimpse at what we have here. And first of all, let's start off with the flat rides. And I can say right away, this is by far my most favorite uh, DLC and I'm gonna show you in a while why but let's start with this one where Frontier has outdone themselves again um, With the soundtrack just listen to it You know what I'm, I'm just putting uh, the, the sound even higher so you can really hear that um, And then we're gonna put this lower again, so there we go All Alright, it's, it's ended, it's ended. Okay, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Uh, we're gonna wait again until this is playing again, and so I'm going to show you this really shortly again, because the soundtrack is amazing. But let me just quickly show you the cars and stuff. So, um, I read, when, when this was first shown on stream, I read that people were worried because this is completely flat and straight, but it isn't. As you can see, it is tilted as the real one. I know this ride as the breakdancer. I don't know what you guys know it for, but it has like various names, but I know it as the breakdancer. And I can say the model is spot on. It is really, really exactly there. So maybe we have a little bit of a different angle here and a bit more bulky versions of it, but the general ride, I mean, if that's not a classic, I don't know what is a classic. Um, I just love this one so much. And also, like as I said, the music on this one is just incredible. I mean, seriously, we know that Frontier can do great music, but this is, seriously, just listen to it. Just listen to it again. Yeah, <laughs> anyways, this is so amazing and because it's so amazing I need to turn it down, otherwise you guys can't hear me and yeah. So we are coming to another very, very much requested great classic and I have to say, I'm just quickly pause the game, this is incredible again. Like look at this, I mean look at the model, look at look at how all the different animations, because it's, it's not just the model right, it's also the different animation of the people um, sitting in here, sitting on the horses, holding down to this little handle hing thingy, whatever here, sitting in this kind of little gondola. It is just incredible, and I think this is the one piece, if I remember correctly, back to Rollercoaster Tycoon, I even got the color scheme um, of the Grand Carousel there. Like, this is a classic, right? And also, the music of this one is um, really great. You can really, let me just rotate a bit so you can hear at least a bit. Do -do -do. Do, 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 do. Uh, it is it is just spot on again. Um, look how happy they are in this little thing. And I think um, they they even did a great job in making the footprint not too big actually. Um, so it's it's really incredible. Talking of not too big footprints, you can really tell that these two towers. I think we don't need to even talk too much in detail about these two because they are it's basically the same. So let me just start with the smaller one. And I think the smaller one is just about right. It's not too tall. It is still quite tall and yeah, we know it's a little bit of a problem that we can't resize them our, on our own But at least they gave us two versions of it, which is also super handy um, And what I love especially about this ride is let me just show you how many sequences we have like we have five different sequences We can just put in here, which is cool. We have the bungee. We have the law pause We have the hop we have the shot and with the free fall This is insane and I, I believe it's the same for this one. No, we even have one. Oh no They just put one and animation more in. So these are the five animations. Um, obviously it's all fully flexi color. I think I don't even need to mention this. Um, 
But yeah, what I especially love about this one is the very, very tiny footprint of the, the ride itself. So you can really, really, and this is this is the best thing about these rides in general. If you're gonna make a fairground or something, or these kind of rides, you quite often see them really in the middle of a plaza or something, um, just covered with a fence or so on. So this is, this is incredible because you really can use this to the max. You can just cover this in, in the middle of your plaza and just, you know, fill in the little gaps in between and that's it but also the model let me again just pause it for a second look at this like we have this this little energy box here which is connected there we have the the beautiful looking restraints we have these seats i, I love how these kind of you know the, the, the seats hanging down um you have this very intricate designed uh build here which is super awesome um i love how the animation works within this thing with this little pendle thingy in the middle or like a piston i guess it's a piston right which is pushing it down so it's in general it, this is just very nicely done also with this little oh god look at this i can't wait to just fill in this into my park it is insane i definitely gonna have this on isla napali the smaller version we do have to see where but yeah we're gonna make this fit then we go on to this one um i have to say i don't know this right i have no idea i just searched for it on the internet and i found a real life counterpart and i can say it is perfectly done but i think this ties into the vintage dlc and if i'm if i would be here to take a guess i could imagine that they already planned this for the vintage dlc or maybe even made this or started to make this for the vintage dlc but then decided to go for another ride in the final cut of this this version so they pushed this to another one um because this really really also from the mechanics and stuff would also work pretty well with the vintage pack um also like like how this is a little bit rustic and stuff already um i think this is a pretty old ride but it is a classic and i love that this is so simple in general frontier did a great job of not giving us theming on these things um, i mean obviously the grand carousel you can't do much about it because it is a grand carousel and we need that theming um but all the other rides, they just have a very subtle theming. I mean, this is just the only thing you can do about this. Um, but you can, again, flexi-color everything, obviously, like always. Um, you can also make different uh, ride sequences, obviously, as always. Um, and with these rides, you don't have any theming, which is great. And what I wanted to show you else, because I forgot this, you can even remove the backdrop if you want to and this one is even better. You have another one with a changeable image. You can put your own image on. Look at this. You can just search for your own image. I mean, I don't have anything suitable yet. Um, oh, you could, you could, for example, do the the Chief Beef custom sign uh, on the backside. It's a really cool idea to put our own items on. I think Frontier even um, did deliver some things. I think here. I don't know if so. Did they? Did they? Did they? Okay, we have some Grand Carousel ones, which is great. Um, I don't know if they provided one. Oh yeah, power moves backdrop. There we go. So we have the Planko, um, which is awesome. This is the, the original Planko design. Look at this. Oh, I love it. This is amazing. And I'm wondering why do we have... Yes. Alright. Um, I don't know if there's anything, but I think these things in the middle... Wait, what did I just... Oh, I clicked some... some some people in here anyways uh, i just saw that there are some billboards also new billboards from the grand carousel which you can use on all all kind of billboards this is awesome i love that they gave us this one which is very iconic and i think on um, every fair ground you've been it looked like this so it's yeah really really cool but let's move on to these things here this is like two beauties um the first thing is a little flat uh, ride which is a tracker i uh, know it's, it's a track ride i'm sorry uh this is the tracker and the tracker is also again a completely completely free moving 360 degrees um, dark ride type. I don't really know what the real life counterpart is. Again, someone mentioned that in somewhere in China or somewhere in Disneyland or whatsoever, there is like basically a one by one copy of this just done right now. Um, but it doesn't really matter because what I really love about this ride is first of all the animation, how this opens and closes, but also how simple it looks. Again, uh, no theming on objects is always very welcome. I mean, yes, we have the we have the um, 
Huntsman, but the Huntsman again is very spooky themed, right? So you can you can very nicely use this as spooky. Obviously, you can also use this for something else. But here you can see, by the way, look at how this tilts. You can really do. This. I don't even know if this is also like the Harry Potter dark ride, uh, kind of inspired. Uh, but the cool thing about this one is that you really you are able to see. Um, how this thing moves, it's really nice, it has this kind of even like um, gamble eye-ish, I don't know how this is called, like with a little bit, bit of a, um, yeah, like in your knee where you have your uh, movement tool, so this looks a little bit like that, um, so you can, you can just see how super easy that is, and again, as I said, it's not really crazily themed, you can, you can basically change the color, and you can just fit this into each and every, um, scenery you want, which is awesome, you can make a jungle dark ride with it, you can make a spooky one, obviously, but you can also make a sci-fi dark ride, it is very, very subtly themed, and this is what I really love about this one, and yeah, now we are coming to the first big surprise of this DLC. It is a really proper working chairlift and this is insane. I have to say I was never ever expecting something like that. It is really something very very surprising and I'm so excited to finally have this. So I just quickly put that in to show you which are the elements of this ride. So we do have the normal station with the first kind of um, movement tool here. Then we have a tool to bend the track which is obviously not raised, it's just fully flat. Um, then we have the opportunity to go higher and lower obviously with the normal uh, cable track again this rounded piece over here um, you can go over tracks and over scenery and over everything you want uh, this is pretty easy and then you go down again into the station and you have um, this other um, rotating piece at the back unfortunately there is just uh, the opportunity to have two stations at the moment I don't know if they are getting to have another station in the middle but at the moment you only can place two if I'm correct uh, at least I haven't found a way um, to do but maybe I'm dumb so I, I, maybe you can even do more than uh, one station but it, uh, as I said I just couldn't get it done if not this doesn't really matter too much because it is still a great addition to the park because um, or to all parks I should say because this is very iconic I mean in Germany I can only remember one park having a, a ski lift but in general, I know that a lot of parks out there have ski lifts and this is insane. Um, I love it. It looks super awesome. Just look at it. Like people are really just sitting in, enjoying the view, um, taking this ride and it's again, as always, uh, super amazingly designed. Um, the animations on it are great. The overall look and feel of this ride is amazing. Just look at this little subtle bump when they're going in. Oh, there don't is even not a bump. Oh, it's because it's fully flat. Let me just check if I have this over here a little bit. Oh, it's, very, it's very nice and subtle. Um, I know if you're gonna go a bit too steep. Oh yeah, there we go. If you go in here, you have this little tiny... Ah, look at this. I love this because this is really iconic uh, from, from these kind of uh, chairlifts. You have this little bump once you get into the tires. I love it. You don't really need to do this, but it, it just adds so much realism. I love how they did it. Uh, you can see I'm really in awe with the DLC so far. But let me just go quickly into one other community favorite. And this is for sure not because of uh, how the ride experience is. I, I think it's just... Somewhat because we all have our experience with this ride and this is a Vacoma D, um, SLC which is called the Correlation um, I don't know it's, it's called the Mind Melt I guess uh, in game so the Mind Melt is a suspended looping coaster from the manufacturer Vekoma, obviously they didn't say that in the game, um, but it's another suspended coaster which is awesome because we only have the b &M version yet, but now we also have the Vekoma version in here, which is awesome, um, and yeah, it normally I would say it's great that we have a ride which is smooth in the game. What I figured is that at least the ride experience on this one seems to be very smooth, um, which is a little bit uh, different to the real world counterpart, which is actually one thing but smooth. It is extremely shaky, extremely painful, but I don't know why. It is really iconic. It is really, really, really iconic. Um, I'm so glad that we finally have this one. Oh, he even created a bump over here. Intentionally, I would say. Um, yeah, I'm just so super uh, amazed that we finally have this one. 
Um, I, yeah, I will definitely use this one also. I guess this could be also right for Eastern Party. Not too sure about this, maybe as a family version, but yeah. Now, people, we are getting into, oh, I don't know, Mm, yeah, we start with my favorite of this DLC and then we go to my second favorite of the DLC I can't really decide because I'm also like also full in the uh, full, I can't even talk I'm full in for the uh, ski lift as well, but I think these two are my favorites um, Starting with oh god guys I have been wanting this from the very very beginning and you know that I am NOT the coaster nerd I'm slowly getting into into this um, but I am not the coaster nerd and a few years ago I wasn't but there was one specific ride I was a nerd about because this is like I have such a strong connection to this ride this was my very first looping coaster I've ever ridden it was the Olympia loop at a fairground in Düsseldorf um, it um, is the first ride I was building as a steel coaster in Roller Coaster Tycoon when this game first came out. Um, it is potentially the most built ride in my Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 career. Um, it is just the steel coaster, hands down for me. Um, alongside the Arrow Looping Coaster, this is one of the classics. It's the Schwarzkopf Looping Coaster and yeah, I have to say, when Frontier was a little bit criticized in the in the past for like not giving you all the options. This might be one of the most flexible options ever, ever uh, in here, and I'm gonna show you why. Let me just quickly close that right and go in and edit the track, so you can show you uh, I can show you what's going on. So if you haven't seen the live stream yet, um, you might be a bit surprised now. So we have a shuttle mod, which is for the launch back and go forth to the station and then into the ride and do the same thing backwards, which is one of the iconic things that the Schwarzkopf Looping Coaster does. But then we also have the wheel lift, which is also very, very well known from this one, which can go also in a little bend, which is amazing, because I was afraid we can only do this like straight, but we can't. We can just do this very iconic left or right hand curve um, up to the hill. Then we do have um, two, uh, actually three different track types, and I'm going to show you what the difference is. Can I just do it here? Yeah. Yes, so we have the normal track, which is this one, which has a little spine in here. We have the second one, which has no spine in here. We can't make the flat track over here because, um, yeah, obviously it's not flat, but let me just quickly show it to you. Oopsie, I'm gonna go here and bring this to zero degrees, please. There we go. And now we are able to make the flat piece. There we go, which is, this is more like the, the little track piece that brings you back into the station. And then, which is also very, very awesome. They didn't even have this because it's in shuttle mode right now. Um, but they also have the iconic brake run, which is again so super amazing that they implemented this one. I was I was again fearing to go with the normal one, but this is the very iconic um, Schwarzkopf brake system, and I am stoked that they have this in here. It is incredible. I love it. Um, yeah, and I, I think we don't have to talk about the coaster train design itself. This is hands down wow. I just. It's spot on. It's spot on. Obviously, there are different models of this one. Um, you also have the one with the uh, like neck restraints, um, but I'm very happy they have gone for this version of the of the um, of the train because I love this one way more than the other. So yeah, I'm I'm just super 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 happy that we finally have this ride in the game. And I'm after this one, I, I took a half a day off, so um, I'm I'm going in now and build a blueprint of this one. So maybe I can even get you a teaser tonight if I'm quick enough. But I go full swaddle now after this little hands uh, quickly a quick look. Oh god, I can't even talk. I'm so excited about this thing. Uh, after the quick look, I'm going to go full in here and build a blueprint. But now there is a last one and I know that this one is again um, not just a little bit of a community favorite I think this is hands down the most requested ride in Planet Coaster for a while now and this is a Mac coaster which is a Mac hyper or launch coaster as you want because they provided us with both a chain lift and a linear synchronous launch whatever else LSM right so um, this is 
very amazing because we have the iconic LSM, Mac LSM with these um, magnetic things on the left hand side. Um, once we have only the, we have a pretty similar track design with the Bargast coaster in Planet Coaster. Um, it is very, very similar to this one. I believe it just has a, very, a little bit of a thicker uh, tube down here and the uh, spine design is a little bit different. Um, but apart from this, this is pretty similar. But the launch system, this is very iconic and the, the um, uh, chain lift is also very much mech, 100% mech. So you can make a me mega coaster, you can make a normal mech coaster, you can make a hyper coaster, and you can make a mark launch coaster, which is amazing. The only little bit, I'm a little bit, yeah, is like the fact that, let me just quickly check. Um, yeah, no, never mind. Anyways, um, I, I totally forgot what I wanted to say, um, but yeah, so you can really see and oh, oh, let me just talk about the train. I love the train design. I, lo I have to say I love the train design. It looks super aggressive, which I love. The mech coasters are aggressive and this is what they need to be. Um, they are looking awesome. What I especially love is this little race position. Um, if you know Taron, I know it's an Interman, but I, uh, they're pretty similar, the Interman Blitz and um, the Mac launch course in ter terms of ride experience. Um, what I especially love is this race position. So people sitting here don't connect their feet to the ground, which um, delivers an even more amazing airtime experience uh, since you're sitting completely free, only held down by the restraints here on your little on your chest so to say which gives you complete freedom over your legs and arms which give really really uh, pushes you into and out of the seat all the time um, I love how this little uh, very subtle design here and there just makes up for it it's oh, I love it I love the train design on both of them on the um, Schwarzkopf looping coaster and the Mac coaster but yeah I'm I will definitely build this one for my winter project um, because this is like a super awesome uh, Mac coaster design. I'm definitely gonna use this. Anyways, that's it for the quick look and I am Super super happy as I said, this is by far my most favorite DLC yet I uh, if you if you are into rides and coasters here You have my full recommendation to buy this one because it's amazing Unfortunately, I don't have any key for this to give away this time. So I hope you enjoyed this little quick look I have to say it's an amazing DLC and I um, completely into it. Thank you Frontier. You finally you finally delivered so many things we've been asking for for months actually um, And yeah hands down just a little bit of round of applause This is a really magnificent DLC. Thank you and a bye-bye We should be hiding out wherever we may find